Joe Biden is finally asked by the mainstream media about credible sexual assault allegations against him. Did he lie? Find out next. Uh, Welcome back to Shake Shakers. Derek Van Shake here. Breaking news, breaking news. The mainstream media finally decided to cover the credible accusations against Joe Biden for sexual assault. And this is not like, oh, yeah, I just bumped into you or I didn't mean. No, no, no. This is this is pretty terrible. Finally, the mainstream media decides to cover this story. And as we talked about in my prior podcast, the mainstream media wasn't trying to cover this because they're in the tank for Joe Biden. If this was anyone else from maybe the farther left side of the Democratic Party or maybe on the right side, specifically, certainly Donald Trump, it would be all over the place. Nonstop front page news all the time. Headlines, breaking news. You would be hearing about it. It would be reported nonstop until you couldn't take it anymore. And I'm going to talk about how much I think the mainstream media is even going to be continuing to talk about this because they're not really even talking about it. They just kind of just asked Joe Biden finally about it. Um, And we're going to get to all that in a second. But the mainstream media was trying to cover all this up because they are for the corporate elite establishment Democrats. And when we're talking about the mainstream media, I'm really talking about the big three TV stations specifically. We're talking about NBC, ABC, and CBS. Those three didn't talk about it at all. And I don't even know how much they're going to continue to mention it. It's just ridiculous on so many levels of how they tried to cover this up and tried to pretend it didn't happen, just have it go away. And now, now, if you heard, if you saw, Joe Biden was asked about it. He was asked about it finally. Remember, as I said in my prior podcast, Joe Biden was never, not once in the history of reporting, asked about Tara Reid and asked what he thought of it and if, you know, if it's true or not and and what's his response to her allegations against him. The Biden camp said that they were going to address this and Joe Biden would be interviewed on Morning Joe. Here's the thing. Mika Brzezinski and Joe Biden are longtime friends and you know, we can't really expect that she's going to give Joe Biden a really tough interview. Uh, I think generally she did a good job, but she really left out a lot of the key evidence. As we talked about in my prior podcast, there is so much evidence confirming that this has happened. Keep in mind, this is not a he said, she said type of argument. As much as Joe Biden is trying to make it seem that way, that, hey, you know, it's only me and her, and I say it didn't happen, she said it did, and I don't know, you can't prove it. Well, actually, there is a whole bunch of evidence that points to her being truthful. In Morning Joe, they didn't cover any of that. They really didn't. They didn't talk about Larry King. They didn't talk about all the people that Tara Reid had told that this has happened, all of her friends, multiple friends, family, siblings, her mom, and her mom called, as I said, to Larry King. San Luis Obispo, California. Hello. Yes, hello. Um, I'm wondering what um, uh, a, a staffer uh, would do, do besides go to the press in Washington. My daughter has just left there uh, after working for a prominent senator and could not get through with her problems at all. And the only thing she could have done was go to the press, and she chose not to do it out of respect for him. Or she had a story to tell, but out of respect for the person she worked for, she didn't tell it. That's true. There is so much evidence that points to this has happened, and it's bogus that Morning Joe, Mika Brzezinski, didn't ask him about it or didn't even mention it to the viewers. For most of the viewers, this time on Morning Joe was probably the first and maybe the only time viewers have heard anything about this allegation. No, it is not true. I'm saying unequivocally, it never, never happened. And it didn't. It never happened. Um, what do you think? Was he being deceptive? <laughs> Jeez. Um, does he even realize that body language exists? I'm not going to get into the specifics. I think I'll save that for a, maybe a main channel video. But it's incongruency. They're just going to say that, hey, you know, we asked Joe Biden and you know, Joe Biden said it didn't happen and he denies it. What else do you want from us? That's what they're going to say. 
and he's lying. The, I, 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 I'm not worried about it at all. <laughs> you know, is this even fair? Is this fair, guys? I feel like the old guy doesn't even realize what he's doing. I don't think he knows that body language is an actual thing. Look, this is an open book. There's nothing for me to hide. Nothing at all. He's an open book, he says. Nothing to hide at all. Remember that statement when we continue here. I have, there is no NDA sign, and no, no one's ever signed. I've never asked anybody to sign an NDA. There are no NDAs, period, in my case. None. And in that moment when he says there's no NDAs in his case, his bottom lip quivers in nervousness. In my case, none. I know that you are saying any HR complaints could be in the National Archives, but why not reveal your Senate documents that are uh, being held in Delaware? <laughs> Look at Biden. It looks like he's about to throw up. <laughs> he's like, oh, goodness, not the University of Delaware. You're coming too close to the truth there. <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> I know there's 1,800 plus boxes. His mouth is like wide open. He's like, oh, oh God. <laughs> You caught me. Boxes, um, but if 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 she believes and she alleges that the complaints may be hidden, there we go. There's the nervous half smile. Right when Mika says that the complaints may be in the University of Delaware archives, he gives that nervous half smile. <laughs> Watch again. And she alleges that the complaints may be hidden. Right at that exact moment, she says it. He does it. That's where the complaints are. He's trying to hide it. Why? He then goes to a closed lip smile smirk, indicating that he's holding back something. Well, they weren't supposed to be revealed. They, I gave them the university. The university said it's going to take them time to go through all the boxes. They said it wouldn't be, and that wouldn't be before 2020. Oh, it's going to take time to go through those boxes. Okay. He's only running for president of the United States. The University of Delaware, you know, they have a lot more important things to do, especially during this time. A lot of classes being taught. Yeah, you know. I am absolutely positive that no one that I'm aware of ever has been made aware of any complaint, a formal complaint made by or a complaint by Tara Reid against me at the time this allegedly happened 27 years ago or until the, I announced for, pre well, it was, I guess it was in April or May of this year. Guys. Liars will typically use a lot more words than those who are telling the truth because they're constantly trying to thread the needle between the known truth and their lie while also trying to convince you and not just convey. Why not approve a search of her name in those records? Approve a search of her name? Yes, and reveal uh, anything not... that might be related to Tara Reid in the University of Delaware records. There is nothing. They wouldn't, they're, they're not there. And if they, had, if it's a, I, 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 you know, I don't understand what you're, the point you're trying to make. The point there I'm are trying no to make personnel is that records you by are... definition. He's stonewalling and trying to divert. Look at the National Archives. Don't look at the University of Delaware. And by the way, the University of Delaware is exactly where Tara Reid says that she believes the document is housed. And he's here saying... Don't look at the University of Delaware, please. Not there. No, no, no. Why not do the same in the University of Delaware records, which have raised questions because they were supposed to be re revealed to the public and then they were sealed for a longer period of time. I'm just talking about her name, not anybody else in those records. A search for that. Look, this is an open book. There's nothing for me to hide. Nothing at all. It's like his life is flashing before his eyes. <laughs> Nothing classified with you... the president or anybody else. This is so bad. And you know what? It doesn't even matter because the mainstream media doesn't care that he's lying. I'm just asking, why not do a search for Tara Reid's name in the University of Delaware records? Look, I mean, who, who, who does that search? The University of Delaware. Does he really think people are going to buy this? And you know what? They are. That's the sad part. They are. You know why? Because this is the first time and possibly the only time anyone will ever hear about this story. 
It's not going to be a big front page headline for weeks and weeks. No. You know, it's just going to be one of those stories just like, hey, yeah, someone accused him. He denied it. Eh, whatever. You know why? Because the mainstream media is completely in the tank for the corporate elite establishment Democrat. If it were to happen on the Bernie Sanders side of things, you could forget about it. He would be trampled. It was, would be on the front page until he would bow out of whatever he was in. <laughs> if it was Donald Trump, they wouldn't stop until they would impeach him or something like that. It's sadly okay when a corporate elite establishment Democrat does this type of thing. You know why? Because they want those people in office. They believe in those people. In the right? Oh, no, no, no. In the left? Oh, no. <laughs> well, certainly not. Maybe even worse than the right at some point. Um, uh, that's actually a good debate. That's a good debate. Would the media attack the right more than Bernie Sanders? I think, th I think this is the answer. I think they would attack Donald Trump more than Bernie Sanders, but I don't think they would attack a normal person, just a normal Republican as much as Bernie Sanders. That's what I think about that. What do you think? Put that in the comments below. It's obvious he's lying. It's obvious she's telling the truth. This is not very hard. She has so much evidence beyond just what she says as evidence of proof that this has happened. It's ridiculous that this is even being questioned. It's ridiculous that the mainstream media isn't really talking about this as much as they should be. And the way out and the way that this needs to unfold for this to actually be anything worthwhile for voters to actually understand what has happened here and the public to really know is for this to be on the front page, on the main headlines of the you know mainstream news and the mainstream TV stations every day, every day talking about new developments and and new, um, new evidence and talking about how it all connects and things like that and having experts go in and connect things and talk about how this looks to be true because of all these other pieces connecting and everything like that. But it needs to happen in the mainstream media where everyone is going to see it. Here on Morning Joe, not many people are necessarily going to see it unless somehow this just blows up. And it's sad because where it is right now, people are just like, what? Sexual assault? What? Joe Biden? What? Uh, I don't know. I haven't heard about that before. Must not be true. That's what people think, right? If you hear it enough, right, then you start to really absorb it and then really start to understand that, hey, it could be true. In this case, it really seems to be true. But the mainstream media doesn't care, which is why they're not going to be covering this story. And they're just going to be pointing to this interview as, hey, we asked him. He denied it. What else do you want from us? We want you to cover it like you would any other allegation against Bernie Sanders or Donald Trump or any other Republican. That's what we want. We want you to be fair. Is that too much to ask? This is ridiculous. And this is why the corporate elite establishment media is going down the tubes. This is why they're losing viewership like crazy to the internet. Because people don't trust them. They don't trust that they're telling the truth. They don't trust that they're giving a fair shake across the board. It's obvious what's happening. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. That's it. Now in the comments, do you think the mainstream media is going to continue to talk about this story like they would if it was on any other side of the political spectrum other than the corporate establishment elite Democrats? Let everyone know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you think Joe Biden is lying. Give this video a thumbs down if you think Joe Biden is truthful. Remember to hit that subscribe button now so you don't miss out on new Shake podcasts where we apply body language to current event topics, and I'll see you at the top.